Okay, wonderful, we are here again. Let me have a drink. It was it was a very long day. So many things was on our to-do list. <clears throat> like really so many. First of all, I need to buy some new clothes for my job interviews and and it was very strange. I had kind of figured out a map in my head where we're gonna go there were like seven shops we wanted to see obviously we went in a way that we could see the Christmas decoration because right now they uh, switch them all which is kind of great you know Halloween was here just like a second ago like yesterday and when Halloween was finished like midnight straight away it felt like straight away they turned on the Christmas lights in the city and that was really great you know because some places I'm not gonna say which places but some places because of the energy prices they decided to save money on Christmas lights which is, I think, a shame, like a proper shame, because how can you save money on the Christmas lights in the city? Because some places, they are so... I, I don't want to say they are dual, but so simple. And Christmas is a chance. December, November and December, of course. It really, you know, I can give him a city a chance to shine. Not nowadays, not because of the pandemic and after after the pandemic, but before when travel was cheap and we were not reminded every day how bad travel is, especially flights for the environment. I traveled a lot. I traveled with friends, I traveled with Cedric, I traveled with a couple of people and uh, and obviously the best thing was after the summer the best thing was definitely to visit the Christmas markets in different sides of Europe. I absolutely love Christmas markets, the mulled wine and uh, you know when you buy a mulled wine on these Christmas markets uh, you pay extra for the mug and the mug usually handmade, hand-painted and it has the name of the city, name of the Christmas market, the address and uh, you know the little symbols that represents the city, the town and you have the dates as well and um, you pay extra for it and this money what you pay extra on the top of the price of the mulled wine you get it back when you return the mug but if you choose to keep it like I usually did keep them you just don't get back your money and you basically you bought the mug so everything is just perfect and I still have these mugs here so for me Christmas markets were always very beautiful and very great and I just can't believe that some people decided to save money on the Christmas lights but we are here we are in London and all the lights are up and you know over the weekends I had friends over from different countries and uh, basically we didn't really do anything else just visiting bookshops and taking pictures of the Christmas lights in around Oxford Street, Regent Street and uh, Common Garden and Carnaby Street, Soho and places like that because this is just just great especially if you come to London for a day for for just a weekend just to see the Christmas light taking picture of it it is a program this is something to do and everyone was so happy about it it was great but today oh my god today was was very tiring because you know job interviews coming up and I needed to buy new shirts new everything to look nice and shiny and you know to look very employable <laughs> you know 
So they look at me and they said, okay, now you're part of the family. And uh, it was very interesting because I knew that during the pandemic many shops moved online permanently, that they closed down their shops and they're not gonna open them anymore. But there were so many other shops which, uh, which I didn't hear that they closed them and, and they did. So there were a couple of shops we did not find. There were on the, on the list there was like seven of them we wanted to visit to buy new clothes for, for my job interviews. But, but uh, basically we managed to see only I think four of them. Yeah. But we went to the very nice one, the expensive ones as well because you know it's always free to try and the guys there were i don't know they were like very interesting because um, you know there are different kind of shops like you have the the standard ones you know the affordable ones not the cheap ones are affordable everything now is like affordable we don't have any cheap stuff anymore here so there were those ones and there was like a medium price medium quality stuff and then the, the higher ones and uh, you you got different kind of customer service with every each of them and it was very fun uh, very interesting that we went to a very trendy one and uh, and I don't know the guys were a bit, a bit I, I wouldn't say strange but it's uh, they had a very special style of customer service but nothing I don't want to say anything bad about them but they said they were kind of strange First of all, you know, when you go to some sort of trendy ones, you know, the very fashionable ones, it was very difficult to find something very formal, very plain, you know, for the job interviews, you don't want to stand out because of your, because how you dress, you want to stand out because of your skill set, because of your, you know, attitude and um, all the stuff, not, not the clothes. And it was very difficult to, to find something, something formal and it was not my size because what happened is during the pandemic i was uh, doing workout every single day so i i kind of looked okay i didn't I, I wouldn't say that i looked good but i looked okay but now after the pandemic like i don't know i remember i was doing workout every single day one hour, one and a half hour, and I was reading magazines, lots of lots of newspaper, very lots of commentary on on the things, and every every almost everyone said that after the pandemic, it everything will come back to normal and even even be more 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 normal. People will spend money, much more money. Everyone will travel. Everyone gonna, you know, th because these two years we kind of lo lost that, and everyone gonna make up for it. So it's gonna be like a hundred years ago, like the Roaring Twenties and Great Gatsby and everything like that. And it did not happen. Man, everything is just so. I don't know, so slow and so sad and stuff. And I started to put on weight, but in a very, like, not like in a normal way. I, so nothing really looks good on me at all. I needed to try so many things. So in this very trendy shop, we asked the, um, the guys, you know, who work there, the employees, to bring me, you know, one size up and maybe try even one more <laughs> size up. And they they brought it, they brought the trousers, they bought the shirts and everything. So they were very nice, they, have, they were very quick and, you know, very good communication skills. So I went to the fitting room and I tried everything on. And one of the guy came inside and asked me if everything okay. And I said, yeah, 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 it's, it's fine, you know. And, and I told him about how I, I put on weight recently. And and this is, um, that's that's why, you know, I'm, I'm trying on so many stuff and I, I don't, know if I should buy the size I need right now or the size I think I'm gonna need in a couple of months when I will lose some weight and go back to normal but probably it will never happen so and and he was like oh, okay okay can I take the the trousers I said okay I didn't finish with that yet but you know if you wanna take it take it and I said yeah yeah because I wanna I wanna put a tag on it. Now the tag, if you don't know, the tag is something that they put on um, any kind of product. So when you pass the door, 
when you want to steal it when uh, when you pass the door it will go beep beep <laughs> and I was like, okay, just just take it because what happened is all the clothes I tried in this trendy shop was quite a big size and most people like 99% of the people who shop there they are very slim and I am not slim anymore not even my shoulders are slim nothing slim so I need much bigger sizes and and they don't have that uh, on display they need to go to the storage room and basically open the the bag because it's sealed properly and basically I was the very first one who tried them on and he was like oh can I can I take the trousers can I take the shirt can I? And, and he was he was ta taking every single one one by one because he wanted to put the tag on it and I said uh, you know just don't do it one by one you know, take the whole thing and you know put it and 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 uh, you know just bring it back to me because I haven't finished that yet and and uh, he didn't say sorry but he kind of apologized in a way that uh, you know if i don't put the tag i need to stay with you all the time <laughs> okay stay with me all the time put the tags whatever you want to do just do it it's absolutely it's absolutely fine i don't know it was uh, an interesting situation and i just realized i had nothing 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 against this customer service but i realized that i really did put on weight and and i am not like 99 percent of the people who shop here <laughs> oh my god but it's okay it, it was it was fine uh, i still had lots of energy from from the weekend you know because finally i had what i would consider parties but of course we didn't have parties because you know everything is just the same as it was in the pandemic time but you know i had my friends over here from different countries and we took pictures lots of lots of pictures tons of pictures of the Christmas lights and everything so I still had that buzz going on what I had on the weekend from my friends so everything everything was was fine I'm still tired from today but you know everything was fine but I want to say something very interesting for the second part of this video and that is a little bit to get a closer look of how we live here in London. Many people made the decision to leave over the last few years but some people stayed and I have a friend he visited me last uh, week and it was very interesting to see him because we've been friends for four five six years i can't even tell how how many years and uh, and he was always like like this he worked few hours so basically he was part-time he worked few hours during the day i'm talking about like four or five hours a day then he went to a coffee shop i'm talking about every single day so this uh, this was like a daily routine of my friend my good friend who visited me last week and what happened is that uh, after working few hours he went to the coffee bar he met up with friends they had a dinner together then they went to have some alcohol a different place and then they went to a fourth place for some entertainment like a theater so every day like that visiting like three four five places and uh, you know that cost a lot of money but no one had problem with this couple of years back what happened is that you know pandemic and lots of clients not just my friends but many many people clients of my friends they left so my friend has very little income right now and when i say very little i'm talking about very close to medium wage and a um, couple of years back i experienced this and it was it was not horrible it was it was something out of this world to to experience this that you do things daily it doesn't matter you go to 
you know coffee bar restaurants and then pubs and and theaters every single day i didn't do that but i had my regular things to do every single week and it was very uh, interesting to learn that i cannot afford them anymore and i need to choose different hobbies i need to change the way how i live and and it, it it was very 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 uh, difficult and obviously when you have friends they usually and that is a good thing actually they usually they stay in the same level and then you like kind of sinking sinking and it's it's a very difficult thing so when my friend my very good friend visited me last week and uh, I ordered pizza and I ordered things, I ordered food, I ordered everything and I made sure I'm entertaining him. I really made sure that he feels I'm treating him like before because this is a very difficult thing and um, y you can actually choose between, you know, like educating him or just ignoring the whole situation. That is the two things. You cannot do anything else. I think these are the two options. Option A or option B. And what I did, I did I did choose option B. I don't know if it's a wise decision, but I decided that this is what I'm going to do. Option A is that uh, you lecture your friend who doesn't have the income what he used to have. And you can lecture him that, are you sure it's it's good for you that you stay in London. London is very expensive, one of the most expensive cities on this planet. Are you sure you want to stay here? Are you sure it's safe for you? Are you sure there is a future for you here? Are you sure that if you move to a different place right now, before all the depression and everything sets in, you move to a different place, maybe you could start a new life very quickly before, you know, everything goes down. You, you still have some savings, you just move to a different place, maybe a smaller town with cheaper rent, cheaper everything, cheaper food, and you just start to build up, like, straight away your new life there. And, you know, you can, that is option A, when you lecture the other person and lecture B, no, option A. Option B, when you just ignore the whole thing and just treat him as you treated him before, over the years. And I decided, okay, let's, let's do, let's do option B. Not because I'm lazy, because for, for a couple of minutes when we were having our pizza, Oh, I made a mistake because I ordered vegetarian stuff. I always order vegetarian food and I completely forget that some of my friends, they eat meat. Anyway, so for a few minutes I was thinking that maybe I should, uh, I should switch to option A. Maybe, you know, I was like being lazy or something like that, you know, I'm not taking any risk here. But then I said, no, 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 I think uh, there is a stage when you, when you kind of feel it that this option B is much better, much wiser, and everything will turn out to be how it, it should be. But for a few minutes, when we were quiet in the kitchen, and when we were having this vegetarian pizza, I, I was thinking about this. You know, should I switch to option A and give a long, long, long monologue or no? Because when I was like 22, yes, when I was 22 years old, I had the same thing in New York and I got option A when I had very little income and uh, I had this long, long monologue that I need to find a very good job, I need to be doing this and that and, that, and uh, I'm not sure if I like that. But end and the uh, end of the day, I did everything what was told to me. So every single advice I got from this option A, um, I did, and everything turned out to be fine. But you know, some people they are sometimes in the, in that kind of mood when they are not, uh, you know they don't don't want to hear anything and just 
one one the day to be done with and then the next day and the next day and they will see how it will turn out but you know when we were having this pizza this vegetarian pizza i noticed that uh, my friend my good friend he does not like vegetarian pizza he doesn't like vegetables he doesn't like anything at all he wants meat with meat potato and and meat and and when I realized that, I was waiting for him to say something, to complain. Because he always come. he's very quick tempered, he's, he gets very angry in, in no time. And he always tells how everything is, he's very honest, always very very honest. And we were in the kitchen and I was thinking to switch from option B to option A and and he did not say anything at all. He was eating the vegetarian pizza, which he did not like. He was just like taking a bite, a very small bite, and then chewing, chewing, chewing. And, and uh, you could see on his face that he's not really happy about it. And I said, no, this is not a time for option A. He wouldn't want to hear that, he wouldn't want to hear anything at all. Because if a very quick-tempered person is not complaining straight away about the food, that I made a mistake when I ordered it, then then this person probably has lots of lots of things in his mind and, and there is no space. He's not in the right headspace right now to hear anything else, any advice. So... Option B, I ignored everything and I treated him as a friend as I treated him over the years. Oh yes. And after this, after I finish this, I will I will send him I will send him a message telling him about the day, you know, how funny it was to go around and trying to find clothes that fits me and it was very very difficult thing to do. Shopping used to be fun, but now it is It is not at all. Especially that every single shop, every single one, is, I don't know, they seem to have a luck, a quite big problem with the lack of stuff, you know, the, the cleanness and it's very messy. For example, I went to the fitting room in one of the, the shops, like a medium range shops, not uh, cheap, not expensive, like medium and there were coat hangers like 10 of them 10 coat hangers on the floor and there were rubbish as well on the floor in the in the fitting room it's like you don't even want to go there you don't even want to try the clothes on like you know i wonder how many sales they lose every single day because they don't clean the, the fitting rooms because they don't have enough stuff enough people well yeah but at least we have the Christmas lights and I'm very happy that they choose not to save money on the Christmas lights because I just love them. It reminds me of the time when we traveled all the time, winter time, all the time to Christmas markets in different parts of Europe, in Germany, in France and that was great. Oh yes, this is it. Looking forward to my job interviews. Yeah, the next chapter in my life. Okay, see you soon.